This time of year, we are putting away the Halloween decorations and taking, go ahead and taking out all the Thanksgiving stuff. So we're getting into holiday mode. And um, I think, you know, it's safe to say that we all have bad days here and there. So today we're going to dive into getting back on track and we're going to give you some quick tips from Lifestyle Masterclass. I am Stacey Portugal, and I'm here with my coaching partner, Sandy Smith. We are the coaches of Lifestyle Masterclass. It is a weekly group coaching call that's designed to support women in healthy weight loss and management. So, Sandy, let's kind of dive into this topic. I mean, I think it's safe to say that no one's perfect, right? Right, right. <laughs> At least anyone living a healthy lifestyle, you know, yes, good I think otherwise you're too rigid. And again, that dives into another whole topic that we can talk about, but somebody who's enjoying their life and living it fully is going to find there are going to be days where it doesn't quite go according to plan. Absolutely. But one of my favorite sayings, and I just said this to someone the other day is, some days I feel like just eating salads and working out, and some days I want to binge on Netflix and, you know, pig out on food. And it's called balance, right? That's the way it is. So right. whether intentional or unintentional, it can certainly happen. So um, let's sort of dive into some of our tips. So you have to really think about when it happens, what is your plan for getting back on track as successfully as possible? And the first tip is that you really have to plan for success. So it's whatever that means for you. Uh, some things to consider would be, what am I going to eat today? How am I going to move? Um, what headspace will I choose to be in? Yeah, not just assuming that you're going to get up and it will be magically different. Instead, you know, coming at the day with a purpose and what is it that I want to happen differently today? What defines for me? I, I often tell my clients, what for you says, okay, I'm back on track here. I'm back on plan. Is it getting up and hitting that class? Is it getting up and getting food in the crock pot so you have dinner ready when you get home from work? What is it that tells you, you know, maybe it's packing good snacks for throughout your day while you're gone throughout the day. So really understanding what is that signal that in your head says, okay, all engines go. Absolutely. It's going to be a little different for everyone, for sure. Mm -hmm. So the first step would be to plan for success in whatever way that means for you. Correct. The second step is to forgive yourself. So I always tell people, you know, speaking of headspace, you got to like get rid of the clutter in your head. Don't waste energy on should have, would have, could haves, or any sort of negative thinking. Just forgive yourself and move on. Exactly. That judgment, while it feels like um, short term, it's going to help us. Uh, long term, it just gets in the way. It doesn't do anything to move you forward and you waste all of this energy that you could be putting into stepping forward and being power, you know, powerfully reclaiming what it is you want to do. And instead, you're, you're staying in a small space and it doesn't help move you forward. So that, that forgiveness, that grace can be such a huge step for getting back into the game. I agree. I think it's actually... For me, it can be one of the biggest obstacles because I do get really mad at myself. Mm -hmm. and I, have to, I literally have to like be my own mother and right. say to myself, it's okay. Just let it go. Move forward. Okay, what am I going to do today? Right, right. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Right. And I love your third tip, which is one that is not intuitive to a lot of people. So tell us what that tip is and how you use that. Well, I tell um, my clients to allow themselves extra servings uh, of proteins and fats if they're having difficulty getting back on track. So sometimes if you've been really far off of track, it just depends on how, you know, how much you, how crazy. <laughs> how crazy you got, you might find yourself either hungry or craving junk food the next day. 
If that happens, allow yourself extra servings of proteins and fats. So give yourself an extra ounce or two of chicken or instead of a quarter of an avocado on your salad, give yourself a half of an avocado on your salad. Because you don't want to give in to like a carbohydrate craving. You never want to give in to that. You don't want to give in to the junk food. You want to move forward and satisfy your appetite both mentally and emotionally. And a great way to do that is to increase proteins and fats, especially fats. Yeah, and I love the way you just defined that it, you chose healthy proteins and healthy fat sources. So yeah. you weren't saying, you know, go to the movies and have more popcorn. That wasn't the yeah. option. And, um, but realizing that getting those in there can help satisfy those cravings that get triggered when we go off plan. Mm -hmm. We are maybe a little bit more used to eating a little bit more volume when we go off plan. And so those things that can help us feel satiated and to move forward so that, again, we always want to move away from deprivation and into strength. So how do we do that? Absolutely. So it's not about depriving yourself. It's filling yourself up and be, understanding the tools that you have to move forward and get past that, those cravings or that hunger. Exactly. Exactly. I love that, Stacy. So three quick tips for people from Lifestyle Masterclass on how to get back on track, regardless of the time of the year and regardless of what took you off plan. So we hope that uh, you will learn more about us in Lifestyle Masterclass and that you'll join us on our Facebook page by the same name, Lifestyle Masterclass. Until the next video and the next tip, take care. Bye.